it, it definitely sent a bang. Shockwaves are still reverberating through the Riviera Heights trailer park just one day after a fatal fireworks accident claimed the life of one of its residents. I had heard a big bang about the time I was walking out my door, and then I looked to my left and I seen the body on the ground in front of my trailer. Chris Hansen witnessed his neighbor, Jesse Burley, lighting a mortar-style firework and says he saw it go off in Burley's face. It went off so fast into his head, like, and there was a big cloud of white smoke, and then he, was, he like, disappeared. He then immediately called 911. First thing I just said is there's a man laying out in the street. He was playing with fireworks and his head was blown off. The explosion was so violent and powerful, neighbors tell us they're still finding some of Burley's remains today. There is still partials here and there. This morning, police and members of the Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms Bureau are trying to determine what happened last night. Removing a firework from Burley's home similar to the one that exploded. These types of fireworks are typically sold to a licensed dealer or a licensed person that uh, that has been trained to, to utilize these devices. And investigators now say they're trying to find out how these professional fireworks got into the wrong hands, causing last night's tragic misfire. It isn't whether we're going to prosecute somebody, it's making sure that uh, those types of devices aren't out in the hands of the general public. Neighbors call it an avoidable tragedy that took the life of a good person. He kept to himself, he was really nice. Uh, all the neighbors liked him. I mean, whenever he did come out, he was very friendly to everyone. Meanwhile, police and neighbors say they hope this death drives home the dangers of amateurs using professional pyrotechnics. These things that you don't want to mess around with, seriously. Kyle Johnson, Fox News.